Welcome back with us. This is all about zero day or same day expiration plays. They are very risky. However, they can be very profitable if played right. The idea is to play small because obviously if it doesn't go your way, if you're playing out of the money, it's completely crazy. You have no value whatsoever if it ends up not in the money. The idea was to have something that was decent. I in a previous video um, you can see the Netflix play that we um, we explained and this one is a little different in fact no this one has the exact same um, idea behind it however um, it's it's played with a very uh, low premium value and um, it, it, it's just showing you that the plan worked and the plan was executed in pretty much the same way. However, one ended up being 90 something percent and the other one had like something like an 800 percent potential. So um, this this is Kohl's uh, KSS. Obviously it had a great day uh, uh, on Thursday uh, following earnings and you know that retailers had great earnings. Walmart, Target, Macy's, name it, Brick and mortar is now doing extremely well because people are now super happy to be walking into shopping malls rather than buying online. So retailers are doing fine and price action is showing it. They're doing their earnings were great. And Thursday they had a fantastic day. You know, Kohl's on Thursday had a day from here in the low 50 range to about 55 uh it had a great day uh, this is huge for them now if you look at the chart similar to netflix that we played is the same thing we have a double top right what's happening at the open here it's just a little higher than the double top showing the possibility to find new buyers new buyers new people going into the trade so it's new money let me blow this up a little bit this is how this is how the, the open happened we had a huge green candle a little tiny bit above the previous double top from the previous day so it's telling you we have new buyers here however rejected big time tried tested rejected it and then tested and what happened look at this wedge one could have expected the whole thing to go boom but it, it didn't it started tanking right away however same as netflix move back here you look at support where is support you're looking for that support line right so this was pretty much my support line I was looking at this is previous high it was kind of resistance here it became support I was kind of hoping that the whole thing would go that way but it didn't and I was monitoring another play at the same time, looking at Macy's. Macy's is in. Let me pull up the chart for you. Macy's had a similar day on Thursday. Huge push after earnings. Sorry. Huge push after earnings here. And then on the following day, this, is, was, this was the open on Friday, had a huge push same thing above all this is support uh, resistance above the previous day high and then a rejection look at this this is the support line and resistance do you agree with me right i'll show you here you know it's climbing Hits resistance, tries, it becomes support, moves up. Now it's really support, right? See this again? 
it hits resistance, gets above it, now it becomes support here, moves above, now it's support, right? So I was kind of sh hoping that this 2120 was going to be good support. So use that same line, 2120 on that morning. And on that morning, 2120 hit right here. See? It's hitting right there. We're very close to it. It's following one, I think, right here. And this is where I alerted the KSS. Like, yeah, Guru. KSS and M. Yeah. Why? Sympathy play. I believe that sometimes, you know, both are retailers, pretty much the same thing. They could have moved in the same direction. They both had a big push, a rejection, and I was anticipating. I mean, this is a very aggressive move. I was anticipating that the uh, KSS would jump as soon as this guy would actually bounce on support. However, it didn't quite do it right there. No, it decided to wait for the 200 EMA. 200 EMA is that green line, right? It's green line here. We're very close to yeah, old support. So basically good enough. Let's go back to the KSS line. So we're back with the KSS. Here is where I decided to get in, right? And why did I decide to go 5650? Look at this here. What's the possibility? Remember the Netflix video we just um, we just uh, presented. Same thing. Possibility to retrace to the high of that day or the same day. So basically there's very little resistance all the way to this fellow here. This fellow here is what? 56.51. So I was looking at the premium and 56.50 was 10 cents. 10 cents. So that's pretty cheap. So if we blow through this line Basically, now, anything above 56.50 is in the money, and any penny above it, any penny above 56.60 makes it profitable at expiration, right? You all follow me, following me on this? So basically, this was very cheap, and the possibilities to hit the retracement to 56.50 was pretty high. Um, I don't recall the exact price of the 56 calls, but uh, if you know, looking at 56 calls, knowing we are going to 56.50, if you had paid less than 50 cents from this entry here, less than 50 cents, it means that. At target, at expiration, your break even. This means it would have been a safer play to go with a um, closer strike to where you were here in the 55 area. However, I had kind of a feeling we could break through this high of 56.50. Um, so we ended up taking here the 56.5 calls at 10 cents. So this is very cheap. And same day, this far out of the money, very risky because if we are not, if it doesn't go our way, we end up being um, screwed because the value of our play is zero, right? No one's going to pay to buy an option more uh, more money than what it's worth, right? So basically your value on your premium is worth zero if you um, it expires less than your strike price. So we ended up there and then it started climbing 
And as soon as we got to here, uh, it was more than enough for me. And then it started climbing a little more. Um, so I took, you know, uh, some part here, keeping a runner. It was good enough. You know, when you play same day, you're not looking to break the bank. You're looking to be uh, very green. And we were very green on this. However, the play ended up going to, well, this is after hours, but it ended up being to very close to 5640. Uh, sorry, 5740. This means that it's a good um, $1.40. Uh, sorry, dollar. Sorry, I, I, I can't count too late. Uh, 90 cents, right? Because 57.40, 56.50, it's 90 cents. So basically, here the minimum value of this area is 90 cents. So from uh, 10 cents to 90 cents is 800%. Um, so basically, it's the same exact play as the Netflix idea is looking at the previous play. Let me get out of here. here. So first thing is very big previous day. Double top looking for a break of that double top into new money right it happened there rejected we remained inside all the sellers the late sellers from the previous day so we are still higher so basically we're still in new money people that just bought and looking for at least a retracement back to the top where the, the new resistance here is it's not much but it's more than enough, especially if we have same day expiration, you'll see that the delta is moving extremely fast when it's moving into your direction. So if you compare this with the Netflix play that we just presented, um, it's similar. It's just as risky. However, if you're picking my brain and you're um, wondering why I played it that way, um, I hope you are actually learning something and and makes it clear for you to understand the uh, zero day trade that we played on friday hope this is good enough and again that little reward is for us when you hit that like and subscribe button at uh, the end of the show thank you very much and i'll see you soon guys